Hello online cooks and welcome to Smoke With Me. Today I got a treat for you. I'm gonna be firing up the griddle behind me and we're gonna be making some Hawaiian burgers. So let's get to it. All right, so what we have here is some fresh from the farm ground beef. Um, we got two quarter pound patties that we'll be using today. Uh, we're also, we're gonna be seasoning those with this Sunshine by Tabitha Brown all-purpose seasoning, garlic, ginger, pineapple, and mango. We got some hot honey bacon that I had smoked the other day, which is gonna complement this dish nice. We got some freshly canned pineapple slices here for you. Uh, we also have some Famous Dave's hot pickles. We're going with some Sweet Baby Ray teriyaki sauce for this. Um, some fresh made pico with some onions, some tomatoes, cilantro, and some lime juice. And finally, we're gonna be using that Hawaiian bun just to give it the whole Hawaiian feel. So let's get to cooking. I got some butter melting down in here and I'm gonna brush that onto the Hawaiian rolls to toast them up uh, when these burgers are ready. So um, things are feeling pretty warm here. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and get my bacon. It usually takes the longest. Um, on top of that, since my griddle uh, kinda angles down and back, I'm gonna put the bacon um, up here towards the top. So when I put the burger patties on, that bacon grease is gonna go right on into uh, those burgers. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of pepper on, because I like pepper on my bacon. All right, let's give this bacon a flip. Ooh, look at that. All right, now that that bacon is rendering down and that fat's starting to drip down to the back of the griddle here, we're gonna go ahead and season our beef patties with just some kosher salt of some black pepper. And then some, again, of that uh, sunshine, talking Tabitha Brown, all-purpose garlic, ginger, pineapple, and mango. Just give it a nice little dusting. And now we're just gonna get that side face down on the griddle. Give it a nice little flip. And just make sure you have good contact with the griddle. And again with that kosher salt. <clears throat> Black pepper. Some of that sunshine. Perfect. Just gonna get the other one seasoned on up while you enjoy this sizzle. All right, this one's good to go on. Nice little flip. So we got good contact. I'm not pressing down hard. I'm just basically placing the spatula on top of it, making sure that we have good contact. Again, some kosher salt. Black pepper. And some sunshine. I got those cooking. I'm also going to go ahead and throw on my pineapple. Oh, why do you cook the pineapple first? Well, just kind of, with the pineapple, all you want to do is get a nice char on each side. You're not really trying to cook it or anything, just kind of warm it up and nice char. Check on our bacon. Bacon is an absolutely perfect. I'm just gonna try to chop it right in half. Good 
that bacon over to the cool side so we don't want to cook it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and butter up the bun. Face down. Alright, so with these burgers, what you're looking for when you cook them, uh, you only want to flip them once. So once it starts to brown up on the edges there, that's when you want to flip them. See, I got some pretty good browning right there, um, but I need a little bit more on these edges, and then we'll be ready to flip. Let's go ahead and give this pineapple a quick little turn. There we go, look at the char on that. That looks absolutely delicious. A quick peek at these buns. Toasted. That looks good. All right, let's go ahead and all right, you see how nice and brown it is getting on the edges of these burgers now? I think we have good contact and probably have a real good crust built up. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a flip. There you go, perfect, that's what I'm looking for. Exactly. Again, nice little touch on them. Don't press down, make sure they have good contact. Now I'm gonna get some of that teriyaki, that sweet teriyaki sauce on. Build some flavor into the burger. I'm gonna go ahead and use my spatula to get a good covering over all of that. And we'll go ahead and throw our cheese on. Go ahead and take another look at this pineapple. A little more char over here on that side, and that should be good. We'll be sitting at burger temp wise. Burger temp, usually I say about 155, 160 are good to pull. It's going to continue to cook. And you can pulse to 150, so give it a couple more minutes. All right, let's just go ahead and get our, our bacon on. That's pretty good. Oh, if you could just smell that teriyaki coming off of these, that smells so good. Take another quick peek at that pineapple. That's looking good, nice and charred for me. Let's get that on there. All right, so our burgers are looking good. Let's go ahead and start building it out. Uh, burgers. So on the bottom, I love me some pickles. Some of these devil's spit pickles. Got to have four. If you're not doing four, you're not making it right. How about the pepper? Yep, we'll get a pepper on there too. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Pepper, what I like to do is kind of chop it up a little bit here. If 
like so, and just kind of sprinkle it on around. There we go. Now let's get our burger patties. Top of that one. Oh, look at that. Lost a couple peppers, that's okay. Let's just throw them on top. We're gonna hit it with that bit of that pico there. Good fresh flavors. Let's go one more. Why not? All right, top it off with some of that teriyaki. Then we're gonna crown it. Boom. Right. <laughs> Look <laughs> at the size of that. Oh my God, I don't even know where to start on this thing. I mean, I got some bacon right there. Let's go right here. Mmm. 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 Hawaii, you know what you're doing. Mmm, that burger, most flavorful, different, but super good. You got to give this one a try.